हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक आर टूडे टॉपिक इज मैंसुरेशन एज वी नो मैंसुरेशन इज वन ऑफ द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फॉर ऑल काइंड ऑफ कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम्स लेट इट बी बैंक एग्जाम्स एस एस सी रेलवे यू पी एस सी सी सैट एंड प्लेसमेंट ट्रेनिंग्स फ्रेंड्स फॉर ऑल द एग्जाम मैंसुरेशन विल प्ले ए वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रोल एंड यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट टू टू थ्री क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम दिस टॉपिक फॉर एस एस सी मैंसुरेशन इज वन ऑफ द वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फ्रेंड्स यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट more than five question in your ssc exam so let's start with the question number 1 friends so try to solve question number 1 here so the diagonals of two squares are in the ratio of 3 is to 5 find the ratio of their areas now friends if you know about squares then for squares all the four sides for squares all the four sides will be equal friends all the four sides will be equal so a a a a and if we'll talk about the area friends then area will be side square then area will be side square is nothing but a square now friends in terms of diagonal so what is diagonal here friends so diagonal will be nothing but so friends diagonal will be nothing but diagonal will be nothing but so this is a and this is a this is right angle triangle so diagonal will become a square plus a square which is nothing but a square root of 2a square which is nothing but a square root of 2a so friends your diagonal will be nothing but a square root of 2a now area we will calculate in terms of diagonal so area will calculate in terms of diagonal now friends area is equals to a square right okay in terms of diagonal what i can write friends so a square root of 2a a square and divided by 2 and divided by 2 now if we'll solve this what you will get 2a square divided by 2 So 2a square divided by 2, 2 2 cancel will be getting a square. So area in terms of diagonal, friends, in terms of diagonal, we can write. So this is what this is d. So d is square by 2. So friends, area in terms of area in terms of side will be a square, and area in terms of diagonal will be d is square by 2, friends. Right? Okay. Now, so the diagonal of 2 square are in the ratio of 3 to 5. So friends, diagonal 1. And diagonal to the ratio is given three is to five. Now, if any data is given in terms of ratio, and if you want to write down in terms of value, then the diagonal one will become three x, and diagonal two will become five x. So, friends, d one and d two we got it. Now, find the ratio of their area. So, find the ratio of their area. So, friends, a one and a two we have to find out. So, a one and a two we have to find out. So, friends, area in terms of diagonal will be. D one square by two and here D two square by two. Now friends, two and two cancel. D one will be three x square and D two will be five x square. So now friends, three x square will be nothing but nine x square and here it is twenty five x square. Then x square and x square is cancelled. So the ratio of the area will be nine is to twenty five. So nine is to twenty five is the correct answer, friends, for the question number one. And this was a very simple question and important question because here we calculated area in terms of diagonal. Friends, moving towards the question number two. Now, friends, question number two. If each side of a square is increased by twenty five percent, find the percentage change in its area. So now, friends, you see this is our a square. Okay. Now. What has been asked? Find the percentage change in the area. So they are asking percentage, right, friends? And whenever percentage is asked in the question, then we can assume any value and solve. Then we can assume any value and solve. So friends, here each side of a square, I am going to assume ten centimeter. So each side of a square, I am going to assume ten centimeter because friends, they are asking. the percentage change in the area so if the percentage has been asked in the question then we can assume then we can assume any value of the side so friends here we have assumed side is equals to 10 cm okay now the old area or the earlier area or the area before increment will be nothing but side square side square and i can also write side into side okay friends so earlier the area was 10 into 10 which is nothing but 100 which is nothing but 100 okay friends now the new area new area okay friends so new area what it will be now friends sides has been increased by 25% so side has been increased by 25% so if it is 10 and if it will increase by 25% then it will become 12.5 then it will become 12.5 so side 12.5 
and this will also become 12.5 because we are increasing it by 25 percent now 12.5 into 12.5 friends if you multiply see earlier the area was 100 now if you multiply so 125 into 125 so 5 5 yeah, 25 and 12 into 5 is 12 into 5 is 60 plus 2 is 62 and then friends 2 into 25 is 50 and 2 and then this will be 125 now friends 5 2 5 5 10 1 16 4 1 5 and 1 so now friends it will become 156.25 if you will if you will multiply this you will be getting 156.25 so now the area became 156.25 so friends earlier the area was 100 and now the area is 156.25 so 56.25 percentage change is there in the area so 56.25 percentage change is there in the area friends so because 100 is the base so 100 is the base so 156.25 that means 56.25 percentage increment is there in the area so friends i hope you would have understood both the questions so thanks a lot for watching the video